Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So we're going to be going over team priorities, specifically for each um, group. I'm actually going to be grouping our sinners according to three groups. First is going to be our front line. So just to give you guys a definition, your front line is the one that is stopping your mobs from reaching your tower or stopping the boss from moving forward so they are in front they don't necessarily have to 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 form a line but they basically block the um, the path of incoming enemies so that is the definition of your front line i'll give you guys a sample later let's just um discuss who are you know who are um who should be there and what type of uh, sinner should be there. So first and foremost, your front line is uh, composed of your Endura, which is your defender, basically. Your Fury, which is your um, DPS. Um, DPS, uh, lots, of, lots of DPS. So And next would be your Umbra. Umbra is your assassin type and your specialist type in terms of uh, front line. So Endura, I am suggesting that you bring in, um, we have, let's just sort this one out first. So for Endura, I would suggest that you have at least one, one that has the capability of blocking two enemies. I know uh, Countess Chelsea is good because she brings in um, an extra summon, her cat but again at the start if especially if it's a rush a rush of enemies coming in you will definitely need there is actually a stage or two or three that i recall that you will need a an endura to block two persons at once or two enemies at once so chelsea is good but again you have to she can't really block um uh, two in one lane she can on, on one square she can only block one so she just has to summon um her cat so that they could block the, the cat could block the other one so my recommendation will not include chelsea for endura for you to build it would include kawakawa here um probably best endura that we have uh he can block two plus he has shield um he has pseudo healing Built in his kit, he can offer shield to everyone. And also Demolia here. She is your best bet as your starter. If you're starting out, especially if you're a beginner, she is your also your best bet as an Endura. But you only have to develop one, so you have to choose whether you're going to go with Demolia or you can go with Kawakawa already. Okay, so next up is going to be our Fury. Okay, for our Fury, I am recommending that you develop at least two Fury because these are your DPS hitters. They should have a lot of uh, DPS or damage depending on what's available to you. If you don't have Nox, actually most of us or all of us has Nox. Nox uh, is given to us for free. Especially when launch started, Nox is given for free. So definitely you'll have Nox. Um, the other one that you, sh you should consider early is Zoya as well. If you have the two of them, you won't be developing any of the Furies here. So uh, for Endura, I'll develop one. For Fury, develop two. So you have Nox and Zoya. What if you don't have either Nox or Zoya? Who should you develop? The other consideration is also Wendy. She has damage, um, range damage similar to Nox. So you can develop her if you don't if you guys have Nox, if you don't have Zoya, Wendy is good. Um, also, you can consider Pakasi as well. Pakasi, because I'm considering her for her um core breaking abilities. She is good. We'll go to core breaking in a while um, on how many you should bring in your team. Pakasi is good because of core breaking and also Che. Che is a nice addition to your team if you don't have either um, S rank uh, Fury. As you can see here, she uh, he core breaks a lot within this area. So again, 
Um, there are a lot of options here. You just have to make sure that you only prioritize building up two. So Nox, Zoya, Wendy, Pakasi, and Che are my recommendations. Let's move on to Umbra. For Umbra, this is a bit of a specialist field. Um, most of you guys are going for Bai. Of course, she is one of the best in terms of damage dealing, core breaking. You guys should have her. But what if you don't have her? What if... And also, I'm only recommending you develop at least one Umbra to start. Especially if you are running out of resources. Develop at least one Umbra. If you don't have Bai, Labyrinth is your best bet. Um... Pseudo by um, similar similar um, abilities, but not to a point. Um, she can really be that uh, umbra that you're looking for in terms of core breaking, in terms of how you use her um, labyrinth. If you don't have by, um, probably probably my my best uh, my other recommendation would be Sumiri. If you don't have by or labyrinth. So Sumiri could be that girl. Aside from that, um, those are my recommendations. So again, for your front line, guys, your front line is going to be composed of Endura, Fury, and Umbra. You have you should focus on one Endura, two Fury, and one Umbra. So that's four. So in terms of your front line, the one that blocks um, your enemies going forward towards the chief, develop at least at least three to four. So you 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 would have more or less a flexibility in terms of who you want to put in the front line. Um, also, if you want to use four, then that would be good as well. You have already uh, built up up to four front line uh, sinners. So let's go to the back line. Your back line will compo be composed of your arcane first and foremost. So your arcane, these are the, this is the class that is so wide ranged in terms of usability that I'll be recommending a couple. So if you uh, priority, if you have it, if you don't have Irene yet, please get her. She will play a part later in core breaking. Um, one of the best core breakers, to be honest, um, because she has ties with the chief as well. Um, Irene, uh, free to play version would be Hikate. Um, Hikate, based, uh, one of the best core breakers as well, but she is with Arcane. Um, aside from the two, um, oh, before I forget, only develop to start two Arcanes and probably grow from there. Um, the third one, if you want to ve develop, would be... Um, this is my opinion, guys, okay? So, Kelvin is actually very nice in terms of slowing down mobs. So, I've been using Kelvin for her freeze ability. Um, so, these three are my core. Um, Stargazer is my fourth, but I told you guys only developed two. So... Please, if you don't have Irene, prioritize building Hikate. Um, either Kelvin and Luvia Ray as well would go for the second slot. Okay, so Luvia Ray is also a good damage dealer for your Arcane. So again, for Arcane, only develop two. There are a lot to choose from. From Stargazer, Irene, Hikate, Kelvin, and Luvia Ray. Eventually, you'll have to expand your Arcane lineup. So, But again, to start, only develop two. Moving on, we have your Recticle. These are kind of your... Your Arcane basically are your, your Spellcasters, AoE Damage Dealers. Um, these, these guys, uh, your Recticle are going to be your ranged units, your Snipers. Um, and these guys have big damage, but more or less with, you know, one target. So... Rectical, I would only suggest building one to start because, again, all the resources that, that are available to us. If you don't have Langley, Langley is the top one. If you don't have Langley, go for EMP, of course. You guys know that already. If you don't have... I'm sure you're going to have EMP, guys, because EMP is actually easy to get. But, again, the other my other option here is also go for Flora. If you don't like EMP, if you want to go for Flora's kit... 
So Flora has a good kit with good damage as well. So although she doesn't have core breaking, um, that could be a problem. But again, Langley and EMP are your priorities. If you're rectical, only choose one if you don't have the other. Um, again, th this is all about um, developing your team from scratch, especially if you don't have an idea who to focus on. This is basically the guy that I'm sharing with you. So moving on to the last one, to your catalyst. Your catalyst is broken down into two types. So first type is going to be your healer types. So you have your healers, like for example, priority would go to Hamel and Ariel. So both of them are your healer types. So backline is composed of three to five. So develop three to five for the backline, two for Arcane, one rectical, one catalyst, uh, one catalyst healer, and one catalyst buffer. Those are your options. So for catalyst healer, again going back, it's Hamel and Ariel. Um, eventually, Hamel would would take over Ariel's duty. So I would suggest that, it, that you don't build Ariel as high as possible if you don't have Hamel yet. Do not phase three Ham. Ariel at some point so she will just be your substitute teacher while the teacher is actually you know if you don't have a male Hamel is your teacher when the teacher arrives so um, priority is still Hamel Ariel is secondary up but up until a certain level only do not over level her up um, for your non healer catalyst your your buffer catalyst my option you know for you guys is go with chameleon chameleon has damage buff and uh, she has attack speed buff okay so as you 10 percent normal attack damage and attack uh, speed bonus the other one that i'm recommending is also mr fox mr fox is going to be for damage reduction okay so but your catalyst buffers are your secondary catalyst. If you're starting out, definitely go for your healers. So backline, 3 to 5 to start, but definitely only 3 to 4. 2 arcane, 1 rectical, and 1 catalyst healer. Okay, so though that is it. So for your frontline, backline, we've, we've discussed it. But we're, we're going to be going over your core breakers. So just going to remove this, confirm. Your core breaker should be within the team that you have built. So if you have a lineup of between 8 to 9 or 8 to 10, at least have three core breakers within them. So for my lineup, I have as a core breaker um, Bai. So Bai is here, my first core breaker. I wasn't able to develop labyrinth because they have Bai already so Bai is number one in my team Irene is number two Ekate is number three okay um the other core breakers that I have would be Langley and EMP so those are the five yeah those are the five basically in my team so this one the first nine here is basically my first uh first nine these are the team this is the team that i created um they basically cover everything that i need um the one that i don't have here is uh, still under development is going to be chameleon so chameleon i still need to promote her up i haven't worked on her yet because i've dedicated resources to others but definitely she's gonna round out my top 10 sinners in my team Okay, so again, core breakers should have at least three to five in your team. Um, again, your core breakers can can be can be as varied in terms of what they can do, like uh, Bai, like Hekate, Irene. They have different types of they have different types of abilities in order for them to core break. So please make sure that you have at least three to five so that you could mix and match core breakers. And also take note that your chief, the chief herself or himself is also a core breaker and it's going to be very efficient, especially if you have Irene beside the chief. 
Okay, so let me just uh, do a formation here, guys. A formation so that you could um, you could see what I'm going to do. So let's do a formation here. Okay, so it, your your formation, this formation is going to be. I'm, I'm going to showcase you on how to fit or probably insert core breakers into your team. So let's say, for example, you will add a chief as a core breaker. You need to use this skill, Dark Sound. So it's uh, it has skill cost two. For the chief to at least core break consistently, you have to put Irene. Oops, okay. You have to put Irene beside a chief in this cross section here so that the chief can gain you know energy and also irene as well so that is my other core breaker bayi is here hikate is here and we have um we have uh langley here as well so basically what i have is one two three four and five core breakers including the chief so again it should be a minimum of five so that you, uh, sorry, minimum of three, so that you'd have a flexibility in terms of core breaking. Let's uh, try this one out. So again, the one that that I mentioned, guys, is front line. So you could either have three front line or four. You could probably, if you don't want another um, one, you could have here another front lines. So you could have four. You could have three. Depends upon you, but uh, with this lineup, I'm confident that I only need three. So let's uh, try to do this one. Put Hikate above and start. Okay, so again, your front line is three. Most front lines can usually hold off any attack if they are three, at least minimum of three. So four would sometimes be overkill depending on the lanes that are going towards the chief. So as you can see here, core break. Then one from the chief. Let's just move. I need a healer definitely for, for this lineup. Okay, so at this point, I'm I just need to kill the boss. Oh boy, oh boy. There you go. <laughs> Nearly died there because of the demo. Um, my point is, core breakers should you should have a balance of everything. Um, and the chief, you have you have to have a minimum of three core breakers. You could include the chief for the fourth. If you need um, more space for healing, definitely you have to lessen your core breakers and include Hamel or, or or Ariel in that composition. So again, it's going to be tricky. So front line three, back line three usually, and core breakers should fit in that equation depending on who you're up against and how difficult the stage you are going to be taking down. So anyway, guys, if you have questions on team priorities, on team building, on Sinner composition, please put down in the comment section. Let's discuss and I'll see you in the next one.